Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the official ARC podcast number 73. My name's Brad, and I'm here with the core team. Your host tonight, as always, our fantastic leader, Atlas. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you for the introduction, Coach Brad. And good evening, good morning, uh, good afternoon uh, to all of you folks. This is the podcast number 73, guys. Consecutively, we're very happy about that. The consistency that, that you're seeing here from really the whole team, the admins, the um, developers. I mean, we were working many hours, so the guys on the back end uh, on a Sunday. And it just goes to show the, the level of commitment that this team has. This is not just, okay, let's let's you know get this front end, let's get the D app, let's get the contracts, and we're done. Uh, our roadmap is very ambitious. We're ahead of uh, our schedule. We do believe that it is important to, let's just say, under-promise and under-deliver. You know, tightening up, um, you know, anything that we can uh, to improve it. We've seen some uh, large upgrades. The DAO, we've seen some small upgrades uh, as well that, that uh, I'll show you one right here. When we look at the Spark prize pool, we can come here and just click on it and turn it into uh, BUSD. The same with the payouts. Uh, we've given $16,402.72. That's, uh, I think, something to be extremely bullish about. And tonight's 152.32 ARC uh, has a street value, as we call it here, of $891.02 and still growing. And I think we might just be breaking an all-time high as uh, we're going to do our segment. We've got fantastic guests all the way from Australia. Uh, you know, Mr. Bizey Dips and Max, who did uh, one of our really favorite videos uh, on YouTube about ARC. I'm going to see if we can have, do a screen share with them and have them uh, show it to us, talk about it. Um, and uh, we want the community, the folks here, to do rally with us let's go to youtube let's smash the likes let's uh you know subscribe leave a comment for the algorithm as they say and uh support them support anyone that's really going out of their way to help our to let the world know i mean we we've got also uh the upgrades of the language groups that you see here uh we've kind of taken our telegram group and turned into almost like a discord where you have these different groups so we have a tech support here inside of our own telegram group where before it was external and the admins and the tech support guys here on the uh, dev team uh, would have to switch between groups. And this way we're able to all really be focused and see what's happening. And I believe over 35 languages are supported now under one group. So uh, with that, let me see uh, what else we want to talk about tonight. We've got uh some AMAs in the works, uh, some YouTube videos. Uh, we're also talking with a, a big TikTok crypto person, uh, which is interesting. I've, I never knew that there's actually a, a TikTok uh, crypto uh, people, but there are, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we also had a very fabulous um, YouTube video from a big YouTuber, our first, you know, introduction into the Chinese market. The young man has over 43,000 uh, crypto investors in the Chinese language, uh, blew us away with his video. He even went into Solidity contracts uh, using Tenderly. Um, not, not what I expected. And a big shout out to Tony, our head admin for the Chinese community. He's out of Canada. Tony's a superstar, a great leader, uh, and has, I believe, doing a great job of helping me to really find where our funds are, are best set, which is with folks that you know are really doing good work. It's hard to trust people in this space and we need to you know verify that people say who they are and that also if we do invest into them that it will get a return, that we'll get growth, that those folks will come and join us. So with that, let's uh, go, on, go and hand it over to Mr. Brett Norton so he can give us some updates from his side. <laughs> Atlas, uh, another busy day with the devs today. We were working on a bunch of tweaks, trying to really get this message through about doing split allocations. Uh, if you haven't headed over to the white paper, there is a CWR tips and strategies page now. I also did a quick video on the quick start um, page as well. Really trying to shift uh, new users. What we're finding is typically people are coming in, 
uh, from another protocol and they're doing hundred percent compounds, you know, for the first couple of days, then they're switching to a different schedule possibly. And, you know, down the road, they run into either, um, you know, CWR upper limit and, uh, and get confused, or they're trying to chase the, uh, the CWR value to try to boost it as fast as they can and just doing multiple actions and then uh, kind of getting stuck. So, uh, we're trying to avoid that altogether and get people on a smooth and steady schedule to begin with doing, you know, either, uh, for example, a 50-50, 50% compound, 50% withdrawal, which would be a 1.0 CWR, um, up to a 1.5 CWR, which is a 60-40 strategy from the very beginning. So if you know anybody that's starting a new account and to get them off on the right foot, have them uh, go through that document and pick a strategy that makes sense for them. Um, uh, you know, they can still, you know, follow if they're, they're coming from another protocol and they, you know, want to have, uh, you know, four compounds and three withdrawals in a week, that's fine, but it's a different schedule. Now you're on, uh, say a 60, 40 type schedule. Um, so we want, uh, people to do that split allocation in a single transaction, uh, every time they go to the vault and it won't matter so much, uh, the time that you go to the vault, um, as it would if you were doing 100% compounds and 100% withdrawals, and that's where people are getting mixed up, is they're kind of losing track of time, and then they start to run into a limit, and they look back and they go, oh yeah, I remember when I started, or you know, 12 days ago, I, I forgot that I did a you know 100% compound, and now they're seeing that in their schedule popping up, and it's it's affecting their CWR, and they can't figure out why. So, I guess the general message is, uh, let's get on those split allocations. If you don't understand what split allocation means. Uh, then, uh, you know, head over to the white paper, CWR tips and strategies, and that'll set you on the right path from the beginning. Um, also with the auto allocation, it will make sense to do that split allocation um, at least for, you know, a couple weeks before you get on the auto allocation. If you've been doing 100% compounds and 100% withdraws at some point in your schedule, uh, we recommend that you shift over to that split allocation before jumping on the auto allocation. That way there won't be any surprises when you get over there or when uh, you hit the upper limit, we get an error and we have to pay extra gas, uh, which is why we haven't been able to reduce the gas fees uh, as quickly as we'd like to on the auto allocation. So that will help out everyone um, that, uh, that is putting money into the, the gas pool on the auto allocator. Uh, if we have much less errors, then we can make it much more predictable and won't have to run as big of a buffer. Uh, so that's kind of the things we're working on, little tweaks to the UI to help kind of steer people in the right direction uh, that are making, uh, you know, are running into the limits and, and things like that. And we're looking at a couple different features to add just to communicate more visually uh, for people that uh, may be following different schedules but don't realize it. And, uh, and get this whole, you know, kind of CWR thing uh, trained into the community as a different way uh, of approaching the vault, the vault investment. Um, other than that, uh, great growth on the foundation side, um, sparks up, you know, to a hell of a number. So everything's looking great there, uh, very well balanced in terms of buys and sells. So we're seeing the mechanics work the way that they're supposed to. Um, we're getting early selling and we're, we're obviously seeing buying pressure at the same time as well. So very well balanced and, and uh, better than expected, to be quite honest. We weren't sure what to expect out of the gates um, with, uh, you know, this balanced approach. And it's it's working out very, very well. So uh, thanks for uh, to uh, Kelly Snook, who's on tonight, who really uh, put that, you know, put that seed into, into ARC. Um, following a balanced schedule is much healthier and more sustainable in the long term for the protocol. So and we're just... I was getting a little feedback there. Um, I was getting a little feedback. Um, oh yeah, sorry about that. I think uh, I can't find my AirPods. I just wanted to say and just echo your comments about the CWR. Like it really is a different mindset. And I think I I was also kind of really orienting still towards the um, all or nothing kind of thing that we see in some of the other protocols. And it's like a whole different beast with the rolling CWR and with the split allocations. And I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate, um, you know, all, all the nuances of that, um, of what that gives you in terms of strategy. So I just want to reaffirm that I'm kind of right now overhauling the best practices document and then also overhauling the calculator so that people can, um, you know, put these split allocations in the timings and then hopefully 
even come up with a more nuanced calculator in the next you know few weeks but i should have the the um adjusted calculator done hopefully by the end of the day today but definitely by the end of this week so that should be up and online and linked um pretty soon so people can start um you know having a little more control over how what they put in the calculator to to adapt to this 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 you know really new way of thinking about this ROI that it's it's, it's an all, it's a whole new world so thanks for that and thanks for the tips and tricks I'll, and um I'll try and uh, you know try and mirror what you've put into the white paper in the um in the calculator but people can look out for a whole new template sheet and a whole new uh, way of inputting the daily actions and hopefully a little bit more accurate uh, calculation probably not down to the second or anything but just at least at least a rough a, a better estimate of what the CWR would be uh, given out oh weird I've been talking and uh, I think maybe I was muted Australia. no I could hear you no, we I, heard you. Yeah. Okay. We yeah, okay. We can hear All you. right, great. Yeah, thanks for that, Kathy. Say, yeah, say thanks, and yeah, great job. Yeah, that's going to be great um, to see that. I think you're right. To shift from a daily schedule uh, mindset is is very important. I think just to avoid, you know, um, any surprises. We see the uh, people are coming back, you know, doing 100% one day, 100% the next, and uh, just forgetting, you know, maybe they've lost a couple hours here and there, and then seeing some variation in their CWR. They're saying, oh, it's going up, or it's going down, I can't figure it out. And then the next time they come, they try to compensate for that. And then it just starts to throw a wrench in their schedule. So yeah, the, the split allocation approach is going to make things uh, way easier to understand. And I think in to get, in the, in, get into the investment early with that mindset is, is very important, I think. So yeah, great. Good stuff, Kelly. Thank you so much. And uh, that's about it for me, Atlas. I think we're going to talk about... Um, the all aboard stuff and contests and AMAs and all those things. So uh, I'll leave those yes, uh, up to you and Brad. Okay. Thanks. And thank you, uh, Kelly. We're very excited with that update uh, coming from you. <laughs> all right. right. <laughs> Good times. So yes, folks uh, look, it's, it's very logical um, and it's almost like a, a, a upgrade for for our minds, you know, especially the folks that are coming uh, from uh, other projects, other pro ROI DAPs, where they're used to that schedule. And I mean, for me personally, I can't tell you what I had for for lunch uh, or breakfast on Monday. And uh, you know, this is something I think happens when people aren't writing stuff down. And if you you know think of it logically by you know doing a 50-50 or 60-40 or or what you are able to be at the most optimum level without really pushing the limits. If you, you know, do those ratios and it's always the same every day, you're, you're earning the same amount, but you're alleviating a lot of the pressure and remembering and strategizing. And uh, we think that as folks understand it, it just takes a little bit of time to, to explain, but they do have that aha moment. They, they say, wait, hold on. This is actually much better because I don't have to, be so concerned of my actions, especially when you get want to get into that auto allocation, which is you know such a smooth sailing uh, opportunity there for everybody. It's important that you understand that your past actions they are accounted for, and that 14-day rolling period is something that you can't you know ignore. If you're going on a 14-day camping trip and you take food and drinks, uh, everything you need for the for that time and that first, you know, week you have a party and you go overboard, you know, it, it just makes sense. You'll be into a starvation sort of mode and probably not having a lot of fun for the remaining days of that uh, camping trip. So thank you for that update and, and Brett, uh, fantastic video uh, that you've created there, giving folks, you know, with your own voice, you know, going through it. Um, we encourage folks to spend some time on it uh, if they're feeling a little bit lost or not oriented uh, correctly. Uh, we think that's an efficient way, and I know that that Brett's working on some tools uh, that are more high level and professional feel look that are going to incorporate the message. Um, but 
you know, great, great way to just step up and, and, and get the message out there because we're, we're just repeating this over and over uh, tech support and here and there. So it is to our benefit. And I think the investors deserve uh, to have um, access to, to the information where everybody can share it and see it, understand it. So with that said, let's move on over coach Brad. I hope you're ready for the all aboard session. All aboard. I'm going to go ahead and uh, post here and pin the video that we're going to um, have our great friends from Australia uh, talk to us about. And maybe if you guys want to do a screen share, I've gone ahead and pinned it. And I, and I do ask, I, I beg everyone here to please um, at least open up that YouTube video and uh, smash the likes and tick the little bell. And uh, If you leave a comment, even better. And we, we want to start really a, a tradition of supporting our community. Um, you know, instead of giving it to these paid shillers that uh, really don't have a passion or an interest, they're just there to take our money and uh, move on to the next one. Not to single anybody out, but uh, we want to we want to see our stars grow here. Uh, we want to see uh, medium you know, articles. We saw it happen before the success of that um, contest that we did. Some folks had never written an article about crypto in their life. They really stepped up. Uh, shout out to Mr. Catalyst for, for really, you know, bringing the education and the example, uh, the leadership that inspired Coach Brad. And then from there, it was, a, it was like a domino effect of, of folks really contributing. And the, you know, the, the knock-on network effects of that were growth. And that's what we're here to do. Let's get this crypto. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's get, get this crypto, crypto. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah. Let's get this crypto. Awesome stuff. Um, so tonight for um, the segment, I actually double the segment for tonight. Um, we have Bizer Dips uh, special guest with Max Power, and we also have Crypto Unlimited Twenty Two. So we'll see if we've got time to run both uh, Crypto Unlimited Twenty Two. I'm very sorry if we don't. That's my mistake. Um, at the sp the special guest for this evening, but. Um, Bizer Dips, I'll turn it over to you if you want to sh uh, share your screen and take us through your video, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much. I might, I might just get Max Power to do that. I think he uh, he was going to get that one up or can get that one up. Can you get that one up, Maxie? Perhaps just a bit of, bit of, bit of background with us as well. Um, we've, we've been in crypto since 2017, and I guess the channel was sort of born out of the, the DeFi summer of 2020. So... Um, really born out of sort of friends and family asking us about crypto. And we thought, well, instead of sort of replying to people individually and what have you, we, we put together a telegram and a, and a channel for people to get some information about what we're doing anyway. So uh, that's sort of a little little bit of background there. Uh, Max, have you been able to get that yeah, up on the screen? Yeah, yeah, just getting it up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the, the crypto badges are very much a team. Um, We've, uh, as I said, we've been at this now for a few years. We've definitely been up and down a few gullies in terms of DeFi. DeFi summer was probably the the funnest time I've I've ever had in crypto. And um, yeah, in terms of ROI depth, we've sort of come from the early Tron days of T2X and then onto your bankroll flows and drips and furios and what have you. And here we are today. So uh, we've 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 seen quite a bit in the space. I think I've had some success there. Now, uh, forgive me, those who are more experienced and those who have done 73 podcasts in a row will be able to answer this um, as impressive as it is. In terms of playing this video, does it actually play with audio? If I, what, what happens here when I share this? Will people uh, be able to hear should, it? Should, should be able to hear it. Yes, sir. Let's go to mm -hmm. stop. And what you're looking at on the screen right now is the chart, which, Matt, it's a thing of beauty. After three weeks, we're here today to look through our results, but this steady price action is what we're looking for. Yeah, it's certainly been uh, a very good performer. So I think just for a bit of uh, context, I think, you know, the few things that we were really keen to highlight in this video were, um, you know, obviously with this steady price action and the work that the liquidity controller is doing, 
Um, it, it makes it quite simple to actually work out where you sit in your results over the first week. I, I, probably one of the benefits I didn't really, you know, give much thought to. Uh, obviously, you guys had, had mentioned there was going to be, you know, the aim was to have a steady price. I probably didn't think you meant literally staying exactly the same um, over the course of three weeks. And I think what obviously this chart just really highlights for people and it, it obviously flows into the results is that it makes tracking where you're at so easy because you know you can literally plug in the price into kelly's phenomenal uh spreadsheet and it, it literally gives you the spits out the results you don't have to factor different prices on different days um and, and it also just takes all the guesswork about thinking should i sell on this day should i sell on that day should i start claiming you know it seems to be a higher price on this day or that day um you can really just do it when it's convenient for you so i think the purpose of this you know what we thought, thought it'd just be great to show people how how simple all this is um, to to work out. Um, so that was sort of part of that first first bit, and then these were our kind of results. Dadge's wallet, and you'll see here a starting balance of, of six hundred and forty, and and overall things are, are very easy to work out when that price is steady. Yeah, I think things are going really really well and very sort of predictable. Uh, we didn't really know. Um, you know, how high the price might have gone at launch, but I'm really pleased to see it, you know, be as stable as it is. Because as you mentioned, you know, pre -sale, the last public pre-sale price was like $4.75. So, I mean, anyone getting in now, they're only paying like $5.70. So no one feels sort of ripped off in the system. Everyone can start on a fairly even footing. And yeah, I mean, the sort of returns we've had on the Crypto Badgers team wallet so far have been very steady, haven't they? Yeah, and so this is this is one of our... Wallets this is our crypto badges team wallet. Um, so for those who join under this one, you you see the, you can see these results for yourself. Um, and so we started with the, in the vault balance of, of six hundred and forty ARC tokens in there. Um, and the project launched uh, depending where you are in the world on the nineteenth of December. And after three weeks, you can see there eight hundred and twenty one in the vault. And this is this is reflected accurately um, in here. If I actually come to the vault. So that's loaded up there now, and you can see there 822. And in this calculator, Kelly Snook, the NASA scientist, who has repeatedly said that we listen to um, <laughs> scientists uh, speak. Uh, I hope you've noticed, Dark, that we do give Kelly a shout out in virtually all of our videos because we're consistently impressed by this spreadsheet, which is just remarkable. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Thanks, Kelly. I mean, I said it in the very first video, video and I repeat it, you know, uh, you know, NASA, when NASA scientists speak, I listen. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this has been, I mean, it's quite incredible, really, that after 20 days, um, it's literally by a factor of what maybe half an ARC token um, which I'm sure is just due to, you know, probably what maybe a slight delay in um, when we actually, you know, set up all the auto compounds. It's literally completely bang on what um, what I punched in with that price of arc. So pretty incredible. I'm super happy to hear that. She's pretty much spot on there. You can see 821 being the alt position. This is through that 2% daily, which we can see here. And we've withdrawn after three weeks, $447, which is, which is spot on. So 447 bucks back in the first three weeks is pretty good going, Matt, I reckon. Yeah, it's very good going. Obviously, with the team wallet, we've got um, one of the legacy NFTs because you need one of those to be able to, you know, set up a, a team wallet. So we're basically on a five, five out of, out of one week, we're on a five day compound, two day claim strategy. Um, so I think that's a really, really good start. Um, yeah, I, do, I, do, I do love this from claiming two day for four days out of 14. Yeah, it's extremely good. And I mean, look, uh, I do like the system because it does encourage people to ROI pretty much from the outset. In fact, you can't, you can't hyper compound. And I think that's been, that's been a real problem for a lot of ROI dads. People get in early, hyper compound, um, you end up with too many whales in the system who end up dumping on everybody else. So I like the fact that you're very restricted in, you know, just how much you can compound. I think we have I mentioned in one of our previous videos um, the different ways you can sort of get access to different compounding structures, whether via 
uh, well, basically by the legacy NFTs. So people might want to refer to them. I was going to ask, ask you guys about this. I mean, I think that's been part of the genius of this has been the encouragement of people to actually claim and not hyper compound. Um, how do you guys kind of come up with that and figure that out? Because it feels like, you know, it, it's so, it, it's such an against the grain sort of philosophy and yet it's, you know, playing such an I important think, role. I think, Kelly, I think Kelly can answer that. <laughs> What, what do you want me to to answer? Just the notion of better people actually ROIing because compared to all the, you know, other dApps where the, the general strategy was hyper-compound, hyper-compound. Oh, yeah. Well, it was obvious from the beginning that that was, a, that was not in the best interest of the investors and um, would also lead to a bunch of wallets, um, yeah, maxing out at the same time and would, would, would put a lot of strain on the system when that happened. And, and so just getting into a much smoother, um, kind of, if, if everyone were doing a much smoother process, then the, the whole, the whole system would really benefit and the individual investors would also benefit. So I really, it's, it's even one step further in our, uh, in the ability to do this because, um, people can can do the the split compounding and and withdrawing every day, which which is even even more smooth and um, and so yeah, that's a that was always pretty clear from the beginning. But the calculator really helped show that that if we could if we could just uh, um, kind of uh, educate people in all the benefits of of the much smoother. <laughs> process then then everyone would benefit and i i love that um brett took that really took that on board and created in fact a whole protocol around that so it's pretty exciting to see it working and exciting to see um you know to see art come to life in this way so i yeah it's all about the smooth the smooth growth yeah and i think it actually benefits everybody because we all get kind of tempted to go for glory probably all been there where you think i'm going to get the fattest wallet possible uh, make most of these rewards and then you end up potentially in a situation where you never end up making sure that you get your investment back so i think it's actually makes it makes the protocol much safer for people as well yeah that's right and you're not just providing exit liquidity for others who kind of know know what to do so uh yeah, I think it works better about better for everyone except possibly the the biggest, most greediest people. <laughs> it doesn't quite work well for them, but uh, I think uh, overall it's better, especially better for the smaller investors to to pay themselves early and often. Uh, one of our previous videos for more information on that, but yeah, it's going really smoothly, Max. I'm I'm pretty impressed because at the moment out there in the general market, things are looking very very dreary, and this is very much a, a nice ray of sunshine in an otherwise gloomy market. Yeah, so I mean, obviously the cost of 640 uh, is 3,600 at the moment. Now, obviously, you know, by getting in before this started, we, we paid a lower price than that. So and. We've received a few referral awards from, you know, our massive YouTube channel, um, <laughs> which does show the potential out there. I mean, we don't have a big audience. We've been able to get, um, we've been able to get a few friends and um, subscribers sort of involved. And that, that helps obviously um, add to your balance as well because you get the 5% of the direct referrals from that. Um, so yeah, that's, the system certainly rewards those that um, – Either get referrals or, or just apply fresh deposits into their into their vault. Um, by doing that, of course, you can help maintain your two percent daily for a much longer than, than you would otherwise. Yeah, and so four hundred and forty bucks back on a value of three thousand six hundred. Now, in terms of we're looking further down the line, Matt, that's what we like to do here. Sometimes that's where things that's where things get interesting. Um, so you'd see here if you if you bought today and did not do any referrals, it would take you three, effectively three months to ROI, which is pretty good. Yeah, it might be a smidgen lower than that, um, in that this particular wallet, I think the compound's five days, obviously five days a week, um, whereas um, a non-legacy or non-team building 
wallet uh, can actually compound four days and claim three, you're actually claiming an extra day a week. So you'd actually ROI a bit quicker. Um, so that needs to be taken. Yeah, it'd be 80, so, 80 days, that would be. So yeah, right, roughly 80 days. Months. Yeah, so, so I mean, that's really pretty good. And obviously that, that doesn't um, take into consideration any increase in price action that may occur. But personally, I'm quite happy for the price of ARC just to stay exactly where it is for as long as it likes. I reckon that's uh, one other um, point to, um, and BZD, feel, feel free to chime in here. Um, I do feel as though people probably on the four and three, five and two, it's easy to look at these and think, you know, there's, there's such little difference because on a per day basis, the difference is so small. But the actual difference, what happens to your overall balance between four and three or three and four or five and two or so on. It's actually pretty huge in the long run. Um, what are you thinking? What are you thinking best? What you're doing four and three in your personals? Advise you did. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Uh, in my personals, I'm just doing the four and three strategy. Obviously in our team wallet, we're doing the uh, five and two, given that we've got the, the silver um, and uh, legacy NFT. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, there's a really great opportunity here for people. They, you know, a lot of people like the DCA into these projects and um, by doing that and, and or referring others, um, people are able to keep at that 2% for longer. And obviously that changes the game as well. The longer you can stay on that 2%, you know, that bodes very, very well for your, um, your vault balance sort of over the long term. Yeah, I think we do end up touching on that in this video. And that it's took a bit of uh, getting the head around the old CWRs and NDV, but it's uh, pretty critical to people coming into the system to have a have a handle on that because the difference between one percent and two percent each day is, is pretty big um, so what does this mean say for the next three weeks let's have a look just down the, we'll, we'll, we'll check back in in three weeks and and see where we're at so that would be uh day 42 yep. day 29 the balance should be up at 1073 and at that point Will have taken out a thousand bucks at that point, so another another six hundred. So you can see in the next three weeks, it's going to be, you know, closer to five sixty that we're taking out rather than four forty. So you can see it just sort of creeps up there every three weeks. Yeah, obviously, as your principal balance is rising, so so therefore your uh, your awards. It's, it's really important to to, to yeah. notice the difference between um, the sort of levels of compounding you're allowed and claiming you're allowed to do for those with an NFT and those without it. You know, for regular wallets, most people are going to be doing a four-day compound and a three-day claim strategy. So your, your chances of, you know, ROIing sooner, I think, much greater. Obviously, that's at the expense of, of, um, of less compounding, but I think for most people, I think it's a, it's a nice way to go. And certainly my personal wallets, um, that's how I'm, I'm, I'm applying that four days compound, three days claim. And you, and for those that are thinking, well, you know, I'm already a bit behind three weeks, you guys have been building the balance already, do remember that the 2% daily is not infinite. So, Definitely not. Um, so for us in this wallet, if, if we if we deposit no fresh capital, if nobody else uh, deposits uh, in our team, we will drop off. Um, we will, you'll see here we'll drop off at about the 90-day mark. Here it is. 2% yeah. drops to 1% at around the 95th day. And uh, the n number to watch on the vault for that is your net deposit value. When this gets um, zero and below, then you drop down to 1%. And the reason that drops down 1% is because you're not bringing in any new capital into the system, so your rewards get dropped down. But obviously, yeah. if you start today um, and, and buy ARC, you're still going to have that full 95 days ahead of you, of which we've only got 70 days. So yeah. you've got that chance to catch up with um, a longer period on 2% compared to those who are in at the start. So that that does obviously would still be earning the 1% daily, but it does allow people to kind of catch up and not feel too far behind. Yeah, definitely. And I think we should with a, with a standard wallet, I think it's something like 75 days or 72 days. That's on a four-day compound, three-day claim type strategy, I think it's around 72, 75 days. You go yeah. from 2 to 1%, something yeah, like that. Yeah, 79 days. 79 days, okay. So, yeah, so so unfortunately, unfortunately there's a bit of a myth out there that this is 2% forever, which I, I believe wouldn't be really sustainable. Um, but it's certainly not the case. The vast majority, the overwhelming um, majority of people are going to drop them 2% to 1% to 1 after around that 79, 80-day mark. So I think that's a 
another really important point there. And, you know, for people and new people that are listening out there, you know, we all get the same opportunities to earn 2%. And I reckon that's, I reckon that's pretty critical. Yeah. And uh, the other part, fun part about this, Matt, has been the Spark Rewards. We love I Spark love Rewards. Really Rewards. It keeps things waiting. interesting, doesn't it? I'm waiting for, uh, I really am waiting to, to get a Spark Reward in here. Uh, what? Might be what are the Spark Rewards? Basically, a portion of the taxes on buys and sells um, for every transaction are put into a pool and effectively lotteried out every day. So you can see the record here for winners each day. Unfortunately, the crypto badgers have not had their stroke of fortune yet, which I'm very surprised about, Matt, because, you know, we <laughs> do, uh, you know, when it comes to lotteries and gambling, sometimes, you know, we do have a bit of luck. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the odds are... Now, the backstory to that, I don't know if anyone needs to hear this story, but basically there is a story, isn't there? We, we, we went on a golf trip. Yes, the uh, the Chris, crypto badgers Christmas party. <laughs> well, we, and we, we, did, uh, we did manage to to hit the grand jackpot on a pokey machine on a golf trip. So we're thinking that we're due a Spark Award. Because <laughs> it, it combines, to, in order to qualify for the daily Spark Awards, you need to either have uh, any, any form of legacy NFT or you need to be a bondholder. And I think there's around 500 odd of those types of wallets. So you've probably got a one in 500 chance of picking this up. So over a yearly sort of basis, if you were thinking it's 365 days, you've probably got roughly a, 70 percent chance throughout the year of of um, jagging one of these spark reward prizes, which are which are pretty lucrative. I mean, one hundred and thirty seven a day. What's that worth? Seven or eight hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah. When you, when, you, when you think that a when when you think that a you know what's the minimum bond two fifty, yeah. and if you go legacy at, uh, NFT route um, to build a team, I think it's the silver one's a thousand. So. Yeah, anyone who's um, who wins one of these prizes has gone a long way to paying for their NFT, and and in some, and if you've got a bond, you're well in profit. Yeah, and you add that to the hundred percent APY on the. the uh, yeah, that that was the other thing I was going to ask you, Max. How are we how are we tracking tracking with our rewards from the uh, yeah the silver no, I'm, legacy I'm not, NFT? Uh, not included those in this in this sheet here, but effectively over the first three weeks, um, this is on the thousand um, dollar silver NFT which obviously also allows us to compound a little bit more. Uh, we've earned 70 bucks back on that so far. So if you extrapolate that out for the 12 months, I mean, that to me, was, you know, works out. Um, you know, you can call it 100% APY. Obviously, that 1,000 is a, is a sunk cost. So um, for, the, for the NFT, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I think, I think it's, it seems to be paying, what would you say, around about $100 a month. Yeah, so, so, so it's 1200 a year, so it's, it's probably paying about, well, just over 100% APR, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, that's not bad, um, considering you're also allowed to compound uh, a little bit more, get your CWR up to 2.5 if that's what you want to do. And, and the other so, thing, if we come into some sort of more bullish market later in the year and there's an increased amount of volume, I mean, those those rewards can go up. Um, yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, no, I think I think I think uh, it's 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 been a quite a, going to be quite a good investment for us. That you see NFT. I think in the end it it will pay it'll pay for itself and 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 a little bit. Mm. Uh, plus, allowed us to compound more, which over over time will make you more. Us, you know, um, help us. You know, take more into over the long run. Obviously, you you are alive faster without compounding more but in the long run um those who compound more are going to earn more faster yep um so plus obviously it's going to give us access to the dow yeah now i'd imagine i mean atlas hasn't mentioned too much about it recently that i've heard but i'd imagine sort of in the next 60 days that will get formed so if you're a legacy NFT holder you'll be um you'll be a member of the dow and that that will sort of that group will sort of you know, make decisions on the future of the protocol. And, and most of those decisions, I think, in the initial stages will be surrounding utility, probably um, with uh, a proposal. Because I know Atlas wants to go into to, into mining, mining of crypto, um, given how cheap uh, mining equipment has become uh, since the downfall in crypto. I mean, you're buying mining equipment for pennies on the dollar at the moment, and he thinks he's got access to, to cheap power sources. So that could be a really, really interesting one, Max, if they can get that one flying. And I fancy that might be 
one of the first um, votes that get put up in the Dow. Yeah, look, looking forward to that. Um, do let us know how you're going with ARC if you're if you're in the system. Um, we'd love to hear from you in the comments about whether what strategy you're employing, what your returns have been like. Um, it's a great community. No complaints at all in that Telegram, which is always refreshing. Quite refreshing. <laughs> Especially in the middle of a bear market. Um, so, yeah, do, do, do let us know how you're going. If you're thinking about joining, there's the Crypto Badgers Telegram group as well we've got going. We're there to answer questions anytime. Just... Uh, so I think that, that pretty much gets to the end. That's the Crypto Badgers results. Um, how's everyone else going? Is that sort of in line with everyone else's experiences so far? I would believe so. Is there, is there anyone that wants to share their experience? All right. <laughs> we got a rough crowd. Yes, tonight. that's that, that's a that, that's a bit of a wrap there. But um, yeah, as you can tell from from our content, um, we've got a pretty relaxed style of doing things. We um, we uh, you know definitely not moon boys. Um, we share the good, the bad, the ugly, um, and we uh, we sort of tell it how it is. So that's sort of our style. So if that's something that any of the listeners um, think they might like, then yeah, definitely hit us up in the Telegram and um, give us a subscribe and what have you. Man, I, I love it, guys. Uh, this is impressive. I think this is a must must watch video. You guys went in depth, uh, looking through uh, Kelly Snook's sheet and uh, look, really looking at the ILC, the price stability. Um, I'd almost like this, you know, to, to, you know, you you have to watch this to be an investor here, uh, but that wouldn't be unfair. Uh, but really, guys, impressive. This is this is something that I, I think that we want to do more of. And I congratulate you for, for putting the time and the effort into into this. So uh, I'm seeing here, nobody's actually commented that is in, let's say, three days ago, Terry Tibbs. Terry Tibbs, man, we love you. You're everywhere, sir. An absolute legend here at ARC. Um, we haven't had any more uh, thumbs up, the likes, or any comments, um, which is uh, not good because I really want – to um, to promote and help you guys out because this is good for everybody that's on the arc. So for the lucky few, the folks that are here right now, uh, we 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 want to get something going here. We have 24 participants, and we're going to give away right now a 100 BUSD to anyone that is in the room that goes and hits the like gives a positive comment, and sends a screenshot of your comment on the video to our admin, Mr. Fortunate Enough. And that's going to happen uh, after the Spark Rewards. So, uh, so uh, if you're interested... What a time to be alive. Busy, great time to be alive. And, and also, uh, <laughs> you guys uh, qualify um, uh, by ZDips and Max. Um, I want you to have uh, your names in the hat for putting your time in so you uh, you guys already have a ticket you don't have to do anything but we do want the rest of the community um to support you guys and support arc so uh just hit up fortunate we're going to do a spin the wheel do we have any questions or comments regarding uh the presentation uh that these gentlemen did for us today this youtube video or the contest uh please go right ahead and meet your mic could you just uh, refresh the page because I commented and liked um, early on in the segment and it isn't showing on your screen so perhaps people have and that just isn't showing I, I did it online and I don't see any comments it's kind of weird I am already subscribed to you guys, so it's possible I've liked and commented a different video. But let me just check. Okay, yeah, I see it there 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I there see you go. 20 minutes ago, awesome. three days ago. Terry Tibbs, please do send that screenshot over to Fortunate. Uh, you too, uh, Brad. And um, Crypto Limited, he qualifies. Please send that screenshot over just to make it easy for uh, Fortunate. Or Fortunate, if you can, actually, you know, the people that are here. 
Uh, Donatello was here. I think he's left. Sheesh. Uh, let's see. Before I... But great video, guys. Some some awesome content there. I, I I totally agree with Atlas. It'd be great if you know people had to mandatory watch this video to to be a part of our. Obviously, we can't enforce that, but uh, I love the style you guys implement. Um, you know, it's entertaining. I think your intro video is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Makes me chuckle every time I see it. So great work. It's really really good to have you on board the arc. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. Uh, it's certainly been a, a pleasure to uh, to be on here today. It's our intention to continue every week or two to provide the community with updates on, you know, how uh, how we how we're progressing and and uh, how our journey's going. That's fantastic, and it'd be great to have you on again for the segment just to you know show your next piece of work and. You know, hopefully the, the, the more often we do these segments, the more um, response we get from the community and, you know, hopefully we can help pump your, your channel and ultimately arc and, you know, get you some, some team members in the process. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, happy to come back on uh, any time you like. Awesome. It's great having you. I just wanted to... Um, give a shout out to Crypto Unlimited 22 and apologize, sir. Um, I double booked the segment. That's totally my fault. Um, I will liaise with you and get you on at your um, earliest convenience. You know, if you're available tomorrow, we'll, we'll, we'll go over your stuff tomorrow, but we've, we've run out of time for the segment this evening and I do apologize, Crypto Unlimited. Don't worry about it, buddy. Don't worry about it at all. That's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm not offended in any ways, and I almost knew that these guys were coming on because I, I remember Atlas maybe mentioning something about it yesterday. And uh, good job, you guys, on the video, Crypto Badgers. I've been following you guys for quite some time now. You guys got a great dialogue back and forth, and it's really entertaining. I really enjoy watching you guys and uh, keep up the great work. And uh, thank you, guys. Cheers, mate. And uh, we're also a keen follower of your work as well, so thanks very much. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is this is magic, guys. Magic. And also, we need to get an email from Mr. Fergie. I just watched it, and I just subbed to you guys, too. This is Mr. Big. Great video, guys. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, they did a great job. And uh, Crypto Fergie, um, let's make sure to get Crypto Fergie on here. He did an amazing video, too. Right from the heart, man. He uh, definitely expressed his enthusiasm and love for Ark. So I don't know, uh, Brad, if, if you can link up with uh, Crypto Fergie and get him in here uh, for one of the uh, segments all aboard. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, I will contact. Uh, is that a, is that a Mister Fergie or a Mrs. Fergie? A Mister. Mister. Okay. <laughs> oh, you, I didn't realize you were in the chat, Crypto. Yeah. yeah I will. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll hit you in DMs and and we'll uh, you know as long as you're happy to we'll uh, we'll get you on the segment over you know Absolutely. when you're available. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you. All aboard. All right. We got Derek in the house too. Derek, I hope you're doing well, brother. If you want to win a hundred BUSD, I don't know how long you've been in here, uh, but if you comment on this fantastic video. And if you do find some time, check it out as well. We'd love to. Oh, sure. um, I'll be sure to comment. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. If you do it, send a screenshot to Fortunate and you can win 100 BUSD. We're probably going to be giving it away in the next five minutes. So uh, great to have you, brother. And, and yeah, these are, these are your Australian brothers uh, <laughs> over there. So, so great support. So I think it's time, guys, uh, for the Spark Rewards uh, section. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, put our screen back to where it should be here so we can see man, the Spark Price Pool keeps on printing. Free arc, everybody. Sheesh. James at the, at the water cooler. Man, that's all he talks about all day. Whenever he's over there by the water cooler, I can hear him. Oh, we're going to win the Spark Rewards Atlas. When are we going to win? They don't say when Lambo. They say when Spark. 
ladies and gentlemen. I just could you share your screen? What, sir? Could you share your screen then? I can't see your screen. Yeah. Yes, I'm just about to uh, bring us back in. Let's go. I hope I, I hoped you liked, smashed, subscribed, and left a comment for our great friends, Max and oh, yes. Z Dips. Great, sir. And I hope you sent uh, also Mr. Uh, Fortunate. Fortunate a screenshot so we can all get this crypto. All right, folks. So 158.27. Man, I need to get a new bell uh, here in, in, in the broadcast <clears> studio <throat> because that's an all time high. So all I got for now is this one. And that is a street value, folks, of $902.14. Wow. Cents. Yeah. Woo, yeah. Let's, let's get, get this crypto. crypto. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah. Let's get this crypto. Let's get right. this crypto. All time high. All time high. All time high. Let's get Let's... this crypto. <laughs> all right. All right. Wouldn't it be cool if Bizey did one? That would be amazing. Oh, but they, did they jump off? Or are they still here? They, still... they should be here because they, they could win oh, there the 100 BUSD yeah. plus, plus <laughs> the, uh, the sparking. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Cripple Badgers. All right, folks. Okay. Quick second. Got to pull the second one out of the, the second hard cold storage out of the freezer for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good times, boys. Well, here we go. <laughs> Give it a second, and there we go. Tonight's winner of the spark rewards their wallet ends in four seven two eight 158.48 arc congratulations whoa that's me hey 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 Woo! really <laughs> yes yes you the man what let's oh go i got it i got it eventually let's go Woo! no good man Four seven two eight, right? Congratulations, That's the first double winner. That's so awesome! Oh my goodness! I feel like I I was gonna get it today. I feel, I felt it and I got it. Whoa. Let's go! <laughs> hey man, you've been very patient, brother. And we always say here, it's oh, not a matter yeah. of if; it's a matter of when. And if, you know, anybody deserves it, it's, it's you, brother. That's awesome, guys. Wow, 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 wow. That's amazing. Yes, sir. And you can share that with your community. That's amazing. Hey, we got Donatello back in the house. Uh, Simon's here. Hey, guys, if you just arrived in the last couple of minutes, we've got, we're giving away in probably a minute or two, 100 BUSD to anyone that goes and, and, and smashes the likes and leaves a comment, subscribes over uh, to the video we went over tonight that's pinned here in the chat. So you've got about, you know, 60 seconds to maybe, you know, 120 seconds left. Uh, if you do that, take a screenshot and send it over really quickly over to Fortunate Enough, our head admin here at ARC, and we're going to put you in the wheel. We're going to spin it. We're going to do the sound effects for you guys so that, that you're able to, you know, get excited and pumped up because we're giving away 100 BUSD. Any questions? We still got time. Just using it. Do we have any questions from anybody that just showed up? 
how do I win? How do I participate? How do I get this crypto? Time's running out. Let me go ahead and check the actual, um, check the video. And uh, see how many folks have really participated through this little contest we just ran. Got so many windows open, it's hard to see. Fortunate, how many folks do you have uh, that have submitted your screenshot? So far, we have eight. Only eight. All right. Does anybody need a little more time, a minute or so, to win 100 BUSD? Nope, we're good. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's there's yeah, got to be. Yeah, we're good. I mean, I see it all over the place. There's got to be at least 50 people that have the iHeart Arc. I mean, I could be wrong, but I see it all over the place. Maybe they just don't know how to enter. No, we're talking about know, the I'm... competition for right now, Brett. Oh, for the right now, for the comments thing. Okay, I gotcha. Hey, and yeah. for just don't I DM'd me. you for um, Catalyst sent his uh, screenshot to me. I, I forwarded it on to you, but you haven't read it yet because we're not friends. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Got you. We we got him set. All right, hey, we're running out of time. Does anybody need another minute to throw your name in the hat to win 100 BUSD oh, right now? <laughs> All right, folks. All right, I'm going to, uh, again, you man, congratulations, brother. Well deserved. I can't. You know, and Justin, oh, no, no, it's uh, tonight. Tonight you have your, your live stream, right? You the man? You the man's going to Lambo on his win, man. We'll let him go. <laughs> he, he took the money and ran. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Fortunate, I'm going to turn off my screen and let you do the screen sharing of the, of the spinning of the wheel. Let's make sure that we got everybody that's participating in here. We got some, uh, uh, hold on, Tahoe, Terry Tibbs, T Drip, Florida Real Church, Giro. Uh, we also need, did we put Max and Bizey Dips on that list, Mr. Fortunate? No. They need to be on the on the list. They, they created the video, and that gives them an Sorry, opportunity. I was driving. The connection is bad. <laughs> hey, we yes, got another hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna have a stream. I'm, I'm gonna brag about it. I'm gonna show. Oh yeah. Patience, yeah. haze, and then it's a matter of when, <laughs> not if. I will always hit that one over and over. <laughs> And then, and then about the about the call with my private group. Yes, they are interested. So let's schedule tomorrow uh, after the podcast. Would that be okay? Yes, sir. Hey, Donatello, you don't want to yes. participate in the uh, in the prize here for the hundred BUSD to support a fellow yeah, YouTuber? Yeah, I did it. I did it yesterday, but I'm in I'm in Telegram jail, so I can't. I can only be on people oh. that ask me, so. Oh, okay. Well, you, you can speak up, man. I mean, we, we don't want to leave anybody else here behind. Uh, so. Add me on there, fool. What about me? I, and, I like and, it. And, and then, I think. I think as well, if you want. <laughs> and everyone. Speak I now or forever. Be... Hold your peace. Crypto yeah. Friday, you feel about a comment. Uh, I'm not in. This is Derek. In the YouTube video, there, there at the bottom uh, of the video, there's a comment section. There should be a. Uh, which, which video are we talking? It's pinned. Ah, the pinned one. Our chat, the pinned YouTube video. Okay. Is, is that a Bull Gates video? 
Got it. Okay. So, what do I comment? Whatever you like. Okay. All right. Arc is I love Ark. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can add Derek to the list. Let's go. Do not get left behind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. See, you, you are you on the list? See, you you uh, you did it as well. I think you might have done it a couple. Times. Did it a few times, um, but I'm not on the list. I'm really sad. Fortunate put me on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Said Max, and who else need to be on there? Bye. Bye. Z -D. Have you got have you got me Derek on the list? Uh no, but I've I've made the comment. I'm just in Telegram jail, so I can't uh, I can't see you no message. He did it as well, but I can't see it either. Derek, which on, on YouTube, which is your your name? Uh, Derek Deza. Okay. First comment. See it here. Yeah, it might be showing first for you, maybe not for me. Let me refresh. Yeah, what we talking about? Crypto, crypto badges, uh, YouTube. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jerry Tibbs. Florida Realtors on there. Zero. Use something. Chris Dugan. Hey, somebody cheating? Making these user 9UG. <laughs> <laughs> somebody trying to be sick, you guys. <sighs> I see Derek uh, approved. I love Arc. Cool. A minute ago. Let me uh, go back to see the list here on the screen and make sure that everybody's there. I did too. Can you see oh, me? Make I sure you get a crypto Fergie Atlas. Fergie's on there too. Right? Let's go. Should I send this screenshot to home? On there too. Good journal. Eternal's here with us? Uh, D-I-G-I-G-E-R-O. Yeah. Me too. Ejiro's in there. Yeah, uh, Uniman, we got to put Uniman in there. Yeah, very good. Let's get Uniman in there. He's driving. Thank you, sir. So I'm going to drive. I'm going to listen. No more screen chatting. <laughs> Be careful, man. Keep the eyes on the road. Because you still qualify to win now, and you can win again. I mean, we are we are not taking your name out of the hat if you win Spark. We don't want to mess with the universe smiling upon you and getting you to your financial goals just a lot quicker than most. As they say, is there anybody here that participated and has not seen their name here on the list. We don't want you to like be left out. Feel free to speak up. Say me, me, me. Help me. Atlas, I'm I feel like more and more people will join the live podcast every day. Please, one day, <laughs> other people. And more. Because yes, of this. Sir. Yes, sir. Atlas, I'm Why not? There. Okay, who was that speaking? That's Brian or Crypto? Brian, Dick? Yep. Did you send your uh, screenshot to Fortunate? Yep. Fortunate, do you see Brian, Dick?
Yeah, you did. You you sent me a link. They came across the screen. Of- Yeah, let's confirm that, Mr. Fortunate. I know you're getting bombarded right now. The crypto streets, people are hearing. Run it over to ARC really fast. 60 seconds left. <laughs> All right. I think we got you taken care of there, Brian. Is there anybody else that participated? Smash the likes, subscribe, left a comment for the algorithm. Because, man, we, we, we got to take these videos, man. We got to support our, our community. No better place to be on those cold, hard streets of crypto and the bear market than aboard the ARC. We have a hole that's, that's just an icebreaker, guys. Unstoppable. All right. All right, I'll be last, ready to run this hole. Is there anybody who participated, smashed the likes, left a comment, subscribed, and they don't see their name on the list? It's fortunate. Can, can, can you scroll through that list one more time, please? You have Mr. Brett Norton. Mr. Brett Norton, he participated too. You don't need to put me in there. I'd rather have somebody else win. That's, All that's right. okay. Yeah. Okay. That's very kind of you, sir. That's very kind of you. Okay. All aboard! <clears throat> Give me a second before you start. This is fortunate. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure to fasten your seatbelts as we're getting ready for another giveaway tonight here live on the podcast. It's all yours. Like spit. You can go ahead and spin it, Mr. There we go. Oh, baby. No way. Let's go. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> what a lot hey, of fun. Well <laughs> Yes, it was, man. It really, really was. And you deserve it, brother. And we continue to say for you and your wife, it's not if, but when. I know you're going to get that spark reward, brother. You deserve oh, it. Oh, yeah, the I know. The universe is smiling at you. That was you. I was so, I was so happy Udaman won this evening. Congratulations, Udaman. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it'll be a next time for you. <laughs> Thank you. He's gonna uh, put on the tuxedo away. tonight. Hey, you the man, you gonna wear the tuxedo tonight? When you when you go on the live stream, you gonna put the tuxedo? Oh yeah. Yes. Tuxedo. All right. <laughs> you gotta let you gotta let him know something special happened today. Oh yeah, it is. It is. I I I'm so anxious to tell about this. After getting on my car. And, uh, like, can it, can and are, are I you want it. anybody <laughs> from an average Joe to a savage Joe? Oh, yeah. Let's get, get this crypto. crypto. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah. Let's get this crypto. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. Whale. You demand a whale. <laughs> <laughs> He's killing it. Good job, yeah. you man. Congratulations, Catalyst. I'm telling it. Well, well Thank deserved. You. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, you the man. You know, at this rate of growth oh, yeah. in the Sparks pool, it's going to be over a grand within a week. So it'll pay for a Silver Legacy NFT probably within a week. The Sparks yeah. pool. Yeah. I'd have to start so with another wallet. Yeah, so my question, to, my question to everyone, I mean, for not, not only listening, who is who are listening or who are listening but who didn't get into it. You know, you heard a rock today, like a one, two point million rock today, AI bot, 
and then two other things yesterday. And I, my, my, think, my thought is this. Why you put that, your money over there, even, even 100 bucks, 200 bucks, you start right here. You start right here and then increase your bag. No rocks. Every day you get a information, education, and entertainment every day. You just throw money into the pit and then see it will just do something for you. But, you know, you see it. Money is money. They say money can't buy happiness. Look at the fucking smile on my face. That's what I'm, that's what that's I'm right, doing. That's right, man. Smiling. Some people are missing some common sense, man. They just can't fight that degen, you know, DNA. But listen, we're trying, man. We're trying. That's why we're here. This is the number 73 podcast consecutive. I mean, it's no secret that folks are here. There's no secret that the smart money is coming to ARC. And as people are getting calm, cool, and collected, not having to look over their shoulder to see which is the next whale that's going to come and hurt the chart and use them as exit liquidity over and over again, they're going to come. They're going to participate. They're going to be sailing on the water, get their quick ROI, and just man, keep growing. It's all here. And we're ready to receive it. So congratulations, uh, you demand congratulations, Catalyst. You showed up just in time, sir. Uh, also, Catalyst, your um, rewards went out exactly at 12 a.m. UTC. I don't know if you noticed. I did. I did. Thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, be talking uh, over the weekend, working with uh, – Catalyst says we're going to, you know, start again uh, the, you know, rewards uh, for the uh, YouTube folks that are going to start here from our community creating content as well as the medium articles. So we're going to set those parameters. We'll have more updates uh, for you guys next, next week. But it looks like the section of the all aboard. All aboard. It's coming together nicely. Great work, Coach Brad. Thank you so much. Max and Baizy Dibs for coming over. Your video is is something that we're, you know, impressed by and proud of, and uh, we're we're just honored to have you guys here as part of. So you know to get featured on the podcast. Yes, any, anybody can come be featured. We got Unlimited, Crypto Unlimited 22. We're going to get uh, Fergie also here. He's a gem. Uh, loved his video. And uh, guys, this is the way to go. We are leaving nobody behind. This is a, a community driven project, it's a multi year project. And uh, we're all passionate about the growth and sustainability that we have here. It's for the taking of everyone. And thank you, Terry Tibbs, for always being here, for supporting uh, those memes, man. Oh, boy, those Terry T. Tibbs memes <laughs> that, that Z showed us yesterday, man. I was, I was, I almost fell on the floor laughing. That was amazing. And with that, and with that Mr. Z, how are you doing tonight? Hey, man. Today is going to be meme-tastic. It's going to be video-tastic. Um, and and I'm fanboying today, man. I've got Max Power in the building. I've got Crypto Badgers in the building. I've got ah. Crypto Limit in the building. Go! <laughs> uh, I'm a fan of all their work, honestly. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, let me share my screen, guys. I want to start off by making you people laugh a little bit. I think humor uh, hits the soul. <laughs> And uh, and I think there's a video uh, that I can kind of show you folks. Um, and and basically, uh, so so when you do your own research, like we will always tell you to Dior anything you get into. And uh, this is a video that kind of proves that. So just let me make this thing a bit bigger. Tell me, can you guys see my screen? Is it? Are you guys able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Perfect, Chris. Yes, sir. So it's like okay, a 4K awesome. resolution. You got going there. <laughs> 
I, this, this video is not 4K, but here we go. Watch this video. I read a 1,679 pages book within two seconds. Yes. Go on. What is what, it? What it just happened? Fast, so you didn't know. What, I, the, what just happened now? What, what what did you learn from the book that you just read? You said what? It's the first one. It's pretty good. I will, I, will, I will chew your meat. Are you crazy? You can't talk with you. I'll, I'll just read. I'll, I can read fast. Anybody can do what you just did. What? What kind of talent is this? <laughs> I hope you guys were able to see that. Uh, were you guys able to see that? Or should I replay it? That was hilarious. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it was great. I've seen that yeah, that... before. So I didn't laugh as hard this time. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no, that, that's just how DeFi works, guys. Like, you have to do your research. You better know your utilities. And, uh, and Atlas, could you just mute your mic, man? Yeah, just double tap and hear myself in the mirror. It's like hearing myself in the mirror. Um, but yeah, uh, let's, uh, so yeah, I mean, let's go through Discord a little bit because I think it's important, uh, to show the, the community. I'm, I'm loving how, uh, like the energy is sort of generating here in Discord. People are asking a bunch of like really, really, uh, iconic questions, I'll say, and we're getting iconic answers from everybody. So, um, yeah, the Discord is looking really, really good. We are still, uh, we are level three. So we are working on a bunch of different things on the Discord size. And, and, and basically our announcements are looking good. Um, I'm enjoying, I mean, you, uh, you the man, you deserve a applause from me, man. Spark winner, number 70. What number are we? Uh, number 25. Let's go. <laughs> that's it. That's a beautiful thing. Um, and let's go watch a few more videos. I have some more videos to show you guys. Uh, we're going to open up with, uh, with Miss Universe. So Miss Universe El Salvador has something in her in her YouTube uh, in, in in her catwalk. So tell me if you guys can see this. Yeah, I'm gonna make the screen a bit bigger. Uh, but this is Miss Universe competition. This is Miss El, uh, El Salvador doing her doing her first walk, and uh, and see if you see anything interesting about her. El Salvador. <laughs> This look represents El Salvador's history of currency. For a long time, cocoa was used, and then the cologne, until it was replaced by the U.S. dollar. In 2021, El Salvador became the first country in the world to use Bitcoin as legal tender. You don't need a dash to walk around dressed in cash like El Salvador. So yeah, I hope you guys were able to see that. So um, uh, Bitcoin did make its way onto this universe. Did you not see the video? I saw the video, but what was the thing we were supposed to see? Oh, so basically, uh, she's basically showing um, their uh, appreciation to Bitcoin for legal tender. So you can see a big Bitcoin behind her. I'll play it again in slow mo. <laughs> El Salvador. Yeah, so, so you see there, like on her left, she's holding a handle for Bitcoin. So yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, now I see it. Now I see it. Yeah, El Salvador went through three different uh, peggings uh, in, in, in basically economies, a scale. So, so they first went through cocoa leaves. That's how they used to do their uh, their, their tender, uh, their, their currency uh, swap. And then they went into the U.S. dollar peg. And now they've gone through a third uh, generation of uh, Bitcoin tender. And hopefully that opens up to, to more things. So, yeah, that's Miss El Salvador uh, making a scene at, at the Miss Universe competition. Um, so, so we have that. Now I have one more video. 
uh, to show you guys. Um, and I'll kind of read a little bit about this uh, before I get into it. So it's a board eight yacht clubs NFT sales spike ahead of you got Dookie Dash games. So 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 basically, board eight yacht club are coming out with a game, and uh, and 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 to have access to uh, basically to have an access pass to the game, uh, you have to own a uh, a board ape. So that's why we see an increase in uh, in sales of of board eight yacht club NFTs. Um, and, and this game is coming out soon. They believe it will come out. Uh, the minting will start on the January the 18th. Um, so there's an explainer video on their, on their Twitter handle. Uh, it can go into much detail, but, um, are you guys up to watch the, a, a small a sneak clip of it? So yeah, it's it's a minute fifty uh, second long video, um, but this is a sneak peek of yeah. Is that fine? Cool. I'm gonna play it now. That's a little preview of uh, of the game, Dookie Dash, and uh, and we're gonna see this thing uh, really, really, uh, you know, bring in the crowd. Uh, this will be the first, you can say, play to earn NFT uh, game that we'll see that connects uh, Board Ape and 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 and, and a, a top tier blue chip uh, NFT project like Board Ape. So I'm looking forward to it. We believe the minting will start about uh, January the 17th to January the 8th. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. January the eighteenth will be the will be the official mint for the for, for the game. Uh, so keep an eye out on this. Uh, for anyone that's new here, anything that I sort of discuss and videos I post, I do post them all in the DeFi link section. So you can go here and and, and check out the the many details. Uh, so let's move on to the next thing. Um, Gary Gensler, um, as we know, the the, the governor of the SEC. Uh, he's been a critic of Bitcoin and in a, in a recent AMA, uh, he's been asked by, by the troops, um, a, a troop basically. So, so you have the U S army that him over a, uh, sort of AMA and they asked him a couple of questions and one of them was concerning crypto. So the question was, uh, Sir, uh Sergeant Lawrence Holmes, uh, if you're here, uh, thanks for asking that question, <laughs> but this is what, what he asked. There are soldiers that look for, for those alternative investments, such as crypto assets, asking the pair what the risk there were to crypto investing. So Gary Gensler comes out with, it's the wild, wild west, adding that most of these 10,000 to 15,000 tokens will fail. Uh, history will, uh, history tells us that there's no, there's not much room for microcurrencies, meaning, you know, we have the U S dollar and Euro as the Euro and the like. 
most of these are not complying with security laws and and but they should be so so he's kind of going hard on um on, on cryptocurrencies here and then he continues here he goes they claim to be transparent uh, what's on the blockchain is transparent but the rest of what's there is not transparent and i think there have been some examples of that recently so he's talking about crypto tornado he's talking about other uh, things on on sort of ether scan uh, but yeah, so he's been a proponent of, um, of, of, of cryptocurrencies for the past two years, especially with the XRP, um, outlet. Um, so, so there's more news on, on Gensler, uh, which I'm not happy about, but let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, cause he's been in the news. He's been in the news for, 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 for a couple of things. Uh, there's been a few more. Uh, suits that he's been after. He went after Genesis and, uh, and 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 Gemini, the crypto exchange. Let me see if I can get the article up for you guys. Uh, SEC Gemini. Yeah, so this is you can find on the SEC.gov. Uh, but yeah, so this is the uh, the article here. So it reads out. Uh, crypto firms Genesis and Gemini charged by SEC with selling unregistered securities. Uh, now, n- now, the thing is, guys, like you got to take this with a pinch of salt because uh, because he still compares um, cryptocurrencies to uh, securities. So, so, so in, in this quote from me, he, he reads out, uh, today, uh, today's charges build on previous actions to make clear to the marketplace and the investor public, investing public that Crypto lending platforms and other intermediaries need to comply with our time-tested securities laws. So that's what he said uh, uh, about uh, uh, about uh, his, his latest lawsuit. So he continues here. Because the U.S. retail investors who participated in the Gemini Earn program have suffered significant harm. Um and and it just goes on and on and on. But th- yeah, there's a there's a hundred and ten page uh, sort of SEC filing that you guys can kind of read through. Uh, but yeah, so so Genesis and Gemini uh, are the latest. I mean, Coinbase was uh, was the previous uh, one sort of accused for for selling SECs un- unregistered securities when they did their earning. Uh, it seems anyone that that, that creates an earning uh, sort of platform on a on a centralized exchange becomes a victim of the SEC. Um, so I hope, and, and it's, and it's, uh, it's compliant that they, that they keep calling it securities, uh, laws that, that, that these things should adjourn to security laws. I hope the, uh, XRP, uh, you can say, uh, conclusion comes out with, with a statement saying that cryptocurrencies are not securities. They're completely different from the order book model that they kind of conspire. So, so that's the, that's the double whammy from uh, Gary Gensler to start the new year. And uh, and the other thing I would say, the last thing I want to sort of cover is um, is basically another thing that developed in Congress today. So in Congress, we have seen. Let me see if I can get it. Yes. So, so you have. Um, so so the article reads: uh, U.S. House Republicans plan to establish crypto focused subcommittee. Uh, Representative French Will and Warren Davidson will reportedly be the vi- chair and vice chair of the subcommittee focused on issues related to crypto assets. Um, so he goes, we've got to respond for oversights and policymakers on a new uh, asset class. Honestly, uh, my viewpoints on this is I don't mind this because a bunch of rep- uh, Republican uh, sort of senators have been pro-crypto. And Frenchel and Warren Davidson are pretty pro crypto when it comes to uh, a peg against the dollar and gold. Um, so, so they've so so this is something that's that's going to be uh, coming out soon. We're going to see a subcommittee that's going to be uh, crypto focused in the in the House of Republicans uh, in, in Congress. So, so that's that's the news from things. So, so we're gonna so, so the more we get like sort of news on this, I will cover it in much more. Uh, detail. Uh, the last news I'm going to cover is uh, Samsung, uh, because Samsung, uh, uh, the ETFs, the Bitcoin ETFs, and uh, we're we're a thing that we uh, that we were talking about quite a bit last year, and uh, and and it was the ETF sort of allocations of Grayscale and others 
uh, that brought uh, Bitcoin's price up to 67K. So that's what uh, sort of took us to all time highs last year. Um, so yeah, so Samsung investment arm is, is to launch Bitcoin futures ETF. Uh, so in Hong Kong, investors can now gain exposure to Bitcoin through Samsung's new ETF listing on January the 13th. So on January the 13th, people from Hong Kong will be able to invest in a, in, 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 in the, in its first uh, Bitcoin ETF futures. Uh, let's see if I can read a little bit more from it. So it goes here. Uh, so, so Park uh, Song Jin, uh, the Samsung asset manager of Hong Kong, had this to say: uh, Hong Kong is the only market in Asia where Bitcoin futures ETFs are listed and traded in the institutional market. It will be a new position for investors who are in- interested in Bitcoin as a competitive product that reflects their experience in risk management. So that's the news from. From Hong Kong, Sam, uh, Samsung will be uh, will be releasing its own Bitcoin ETF. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, the last thing I want to cover is uh, price action because price action has been uh, pretty interesting uh, the last couple of days with Bitcoin, with, with cryptocurrency uh, market cap. So currently we are at 18,077, 18.7K uh, in Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum just crossed 1400 uh, and our favorite uh, Binance coin, BNB, is at $286. And if we go to CoinGecko currently, let's see what the current market cap is. So the current market cap is $944 billion. Uh, soon it should hit a, a trillion dollars. And and please, guys, like make sure that you don't uh, just buy prices at current value because this is what normal people do. You're supposed to wait for a dip. Currently, we have, you can say, a good sort of distribution at the top. And people that normally buy distros get wrecked. So be careful if you are looking to buy any crypto right now. Because I think what happens usually is when when crypto sort of makes a a, a new high, um, we tend to go into, uh, into reading more articles about it. And it sort of pushes people to buy uh, by the tops, you know, so, so, so be careful with, with what price action is doing right now. I do personally see this to, to dip. So that's the news on crypto. Yeah, guys, uh, continue to interact with our discord. Uh, we do have an international section here. Uh, our price trackers are showing up here and, and for people that are new here, uh, this can be your on uh, all in one encompass. This is where we do our, uh, you can say Telegram up- updates, all our podcasts get posted here, AMA info gets posted here, announcements on all giveaways get posted here, and and and, and you got to see this, uh, so, Terry, if you're still here, uh, kudos to you, man. Your your memes are the best. Uh, so the meme here is showing two sharks, buddy sharks. One says, rug pulled again, Frank. Uh, uh, he goes, time to join Arc Fire, buddy. It's a nice little uh, meme. So keep them coming, Terry Tubes. Pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that covers the news. And Terry's always posting some great memes. So do uh, to join up here. If you are a graphics designer, if you are just an enthusiast, and you know how to make some memes from, from some apps, do create some Arc ones and do post them up here. Soon we'll do some competitions. Um, but yeah, uh, that covers it for, for news for today. Thank you, guys. Great job, Steve. Thank you. AZ, so that's, you know, what really caught my attention was the, uh, I hadn't heard about Samsung is yeah. coming out and, and yeah, so, really so you, you're, yeah, so ETFs, right? Uh, they're like, you can say pegs against, uh, against uh, Bitcoin. So if you buy an ETF, you basically are, uh, are safeguarding your investment because if Bitcoin does go bottoms up, you still have other uh, sort of investments to peg against that. So ETFs are well known in, uh, in, 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 in you know, in the stock exchange and, and as an investment tool for people to, uh, to, to, to diversify their, their investment. Uh, so Bitcoin ETFs uh, were something that took uh, price to all time highs last year. 
and uh and 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 yeah so so samsung's uh samsung's investment uh compartment will be creating a uh an etf for bitcoin a bitcoin etf in, in at the in the hong kong exchange uh on the 13th of january i think i think today or next week i think we're okay. going to have a bitcoin etf in hong kong okay cuz that's i wanted to ask i know that grayscale is doing the sec for rejecting them yes that, yes, uh, a few. really interesting. Yeah, Grayscale and a few others are actually uh, are suing the SEC on on behalf of their investors because their investors uh, and and a bunch of others did not see anything wrong with the ATF. They saw it as a rounded investment, and for the SEC to just uh, choose the ones they want to and not go through a, a more you know a process uh, is 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 what pissed off investors in Grayscale. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting. It you know it takes you can you can invest into Bitcoin without you know having to take custody and uh, you know it has such a different level of of seriousness, right? Where you can trade commodities as well, ETFs on commodities. And it's it's something I think hopefully will come soon. And uh, interesting too, what you ran over uh, with uh, Gary Ginsler. <laughs> You know, back to the old narrative, and I mean, what happened with FTX? I, I, it's like it's all this oldest time, right? Where <laughs> somebody is commingling funds and, and doing what they're not supposed to be doing. I mean, we've seen this happen with with many um, investment banks and hedge funds. You know, that's why the regulators are generally there at their offices and separating the order books, you know, from your own client investors because they can see and, and play both sides. So yeah. even with that, they, they still double dip and they still uh, have this great temptation to say, hey, let me take client funds, let me leverage it, um, and let me bet against them <laughs> or with them, uh, but I'll win and I'll just pay them back from, from the winning of you know, using their funds. And that works until it doesn't work. And mm-hmm. this is uh, happened time and time and time again in traditional finance. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that they, they can't run the order book anymore. These are liquidity pools. They need to like understand, like, especially Gary Gensler. Like, this is the third time he's made the same error uh, with comparing a cryptocurrency to to security. A security is based on an order book model. It's uh, it's based on a database that doesn't connect to other things. When you when you talk cryptocurrencies, it's a it's a liquidity pool, a liquidity pool that's interoperable. It's very like there's so much to it. It's like it's like going from like 2D uh, cartoons to 4D, uh, you know, or 4K graphics. Like there, there's a huge update to to what cryptocurrencies can do. And unfortunately, it seems he's just on the same thing. He's he's been calling crypto the wild wild west for another for another year, and it's unfortunate. Uh, but it is what it is. And and hopefully after the XRP uh, debacle. Uh, of a lawsuit that that the SEC start to educate themselves a little bit because Congress is Congress is uh, I, I like how co- Congress approaches it all because because uh, Congress aren't part of the government right they're, they're 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 basically elected people entrepreneurs most of them so when they when they bring in someone like a Zuckerberg or they bring in somebody uh, they give them the, the the floor to speak about the technology. And it's uh, it, and, and they're pretty insightful. They they're very honest and, and and they basically say simple stuff like, "Could you explain what proof of stake is?" And you have uh, you know experts that explain that. So that's the same uh, you can say um, you know uh, technique that the SEC should be taking. But but unfortunately, uh, they want to keep calling cryptocurrency security law, uh, and they want to compare it to securities laws. Um, um, and I think I think we should we should do a deep dive next time into. What securities laws are really uh, improvise? Because I think we have YouTubers here now. We have uh, uh, token founders here, and it's important for us to understand uh, this these securities laws a little bit deeper. Yeah, that's a great idea. I like that a lot, and and maybe we could dive too into the shitcoin version in the stock market, right? Of of you know small caps they call them penny stocks <laughs> you know? and, and and look at the other side say wait you know how, how 
easy it could be for folks, you know, to play that game on that side. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody here knows anything about that world, but uh, it does exist. They do have their BSC version, <laughs> penny <laughs> stocks and, um, you know, Canadian, you know, gold shares. And I mean, there's, there's every scam out there uh, that's, that's also, you know, happening on their, on their turf, as they say. And with that, I think we're ready to come to a close. We've had a three-hour podcast tonight. Guys, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a pleasure. No. Shout out to Bizey Dits as well as Max. Uh, we love their video for taking the time and, and really sharing it here with us, setting the tone and showing the level of professionalism of the folks that are here at ARC, you know, the folks that we call the smart money. So uh, thank you for your time, guys. Thank you for the video. Uh, shout out to you, the man, also uh, for winning. Finally, it was his day, and, and, and it could have been timed, I think, any better because he's just about to go in an hour or two into his live stream, you know, over in Korea. We've been here two times, Brett and I, to, to meet those folks. And a great, great group of people. And we're going to be having another uh, uh, meeting with them over the weekend a group of 30 investors uh, that Uniman has lined up for us. Very, uh, very exciting. So uh, justice is, is really here, and, uh, and and the prize is for the taking for anyone that's participating, as we know. Uh, with that, I believe that there, there also uh, was a winner, Mr. Catalyst. Again, uh, the stars are shining upon our, our real, you know, uh, pillars of our community, right? The folks that are really with us here and it's become a trend if you come to the podcast your your chances of winning are pretty pretty high i don't know why it's 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 really a uh an interesting uh situation right um but it just goes to show that so many folks are are not just invested into art they're invested i think into the community the podcast and everything that we do we're all on board so I uh, thank you, Coach Brad, for the all aboard. All section. aboard! Catalyst for the win of the BUSD for supporting the uh, thank you, sir. Crypto Badgers. Well, thank you for supporting ARC, uh, as you always do, and showing some love and likes and comments over to our brothers, our fellow investors. Um, you know, the guys that are on board here, all the way from Australia. Also, Derek's from Australia. But yeah, the Crypto Badgers, man, absolutely killed it with that video and the introduction uh, to their to their videos are also um, really well done and fun. So guys, we'll see you tomorrow night and uh, we hope that you all take care of yourselves. We'll be back at the same time, 6 p.m. EST, 11 p.m. UTC. And don't forget, let's get this crypto. Oh, yeah. let's, let's get, get this crypto. crypto. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah, let's get this crypto. Amazing.